Hello friends! Thanks for tuning in to this week's video. It's a little different. I'm doing a community-focused one on a company, an organization, called PCs for People. We had an Entrepreneurs Alliance event there, which is a monthly event for entrepreneurs to get together uh, and focus on a local business or not-for-profit. And it's in downtown Kansas City. And what they do is they provide computers, rebuilt computers, and mobile hotspots for people living at the poverty level that could not, you know, normally couldn't afford internet for their house or a PC for their home. And one of the things that Tom Esselman uh, from Hallmark, he used to be at Hallmark, he was actually the guy, first of all, he's an awesome, awesome guy. He did a presentation that blew our socks off uh, about what they're trying to do and accomplish with PCs for people here in Kansas City. And he used to be at Hallmark, and he was one of the guys instrumental in those song cards that you open up that play a song back at, you know, when they first came out. He was on the team that kind of helped, that brought those to market. And he had some interesting stories to share about that. But he's now the executive director for Kansas City's uh, PCs for People. And we got to tour their facility last week. And it was shockingly amazing how much material, how many computers are donated and how many they refurbish and turn around and get into the hands of people that normally wouldn't have a computer. So the first thing that's very interesting about them is that they've donated over a hundred and that, not donated, they have refurbished and made available to people at the poverty level 180,000 computers. Um, and they don't just give them away. And I think this makes some sense because they charge 50 to to $100. So the people that are coming to get those, they have a little bit of skin in the game. And they've found that most of the repairs that they do when they get computers back that haven't been taken care of, it's when they were given away freely because they sometimes do that. They have some that they do that they give away for free. So they found that charging a small amount, 50 to to $100, drastically improves the chances that people are going to take care of their computers. So they have donated hundreds of thousands of computers to people, um, and not-for-profits, by the way. The other thing that they've done is they have provided 70,000 mobile hotspots to, or connected 70,000 people, homes, to the internet. And it's interesting because they put out these 4G LTE hotspots that they've got a, um, it's a long story of, of how they're working on the spectrum with 4G and all that stuff, but it basically ends up being $15 a month to get uh, internet to a household that traditionally hasn't been served by fiber or, you know, different cable providers and things like that. And it's their only way to get decent, not great, but decent internet to their household. And that's amazing. The other thing that they've done, there's three big things that they're doing, is that they've kept 8 million pounds out of our waste dumps. You know, they've 8 million pounds of recycled equipment. And that's just amazing to me. So Tom gave us a presentation and walked us through their workspace, their warehouse, and all the different stations they've got. PCs for People is one of only, I think, 12 in the country that Tom said that's NAID AAA certified for data security. Even when we were doing a tour, we had to all stay together and with Tom because of their whole requirements and compliance with, with data security. We couldn't be wandering off by ourselves anywhere near the hard drives or the PCs or anything that was in the warehouse. So I thought that was very impressive and it gives people, companies, a peace of mind to donate, you know, like people that are in the healthcare industry or banking industry, instead of just destroying those computers, they can provide those, give those to PCs for people, knowing that they're gonna get cleaned up and put in the hands of people that could really use them. Even though it's older gear, they work great for people that are just trying to access the internet and learn things and all that. And so the other thing um, that was very interesting to me is that they showed, and I'll put this up on a screen of the different locations, like I mentioned, they're in a few different states, but they also showed a heat map, which I don't have this slide, I wish I did, that lined up all of the, the, the PCs and the hotspots that they have given out to people. And they mapped that over the biggest poverty areas in the country. And surprise, surprise, it lined up perfectly. It was crazy. Like it hit me like, oh my gosh, this is one of those driving factors for poverty in the country. They don't have PCs and the internet access to learn, um, about current events, learn about job opportunities, increase their computer skills, all of this stuff. So this is something that's very important to me and definitely on my radar right now to be supportive of these guys. I will put a link in the description below if you guys want to get uh, interested or involved in PCs for People. If you have an old computer sitting around, I actually took one of my old computers and a couple of boxes of cables 
And so I basically cleaned my closet, my tech closet out and took a PC and a bunch of cables and some other stuff to donate. This is just one of those not-for-profits that makes a huge difference and it makes a lot of sense to me since I'm a technology person. And so I thought it'd be a great one to throw out there for you guys to consider supporting in 2021 before end of year. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it, uh, you enjoyed the pictures of our little tour of PCs for People. And if you hadn't heard about them, I hope you learned something about PCs for People and their mission. I will see you next week. I'll talk to you soon.